Alright ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? I've been getting a lot of comments recently on my Instagram and my TikTok page where I'm playing this game called GeoGuessr but there's like an AI bot talking to me. I'll drag you through the demilitarised zone by your fucking ankles. <laughs> Spit it out your brain dead. Oh, there's the right. pyramids of Giza. Are you having a stroke? The pyramids of Giza are in Egypt, you muppet! <laughs> Unless Glasgow suddenly decided to reload. That's in Wales, you're pudding. All this time bleating about Ireland and you were closer to the sheep shaggers next door, your geography is so bad it's a hate crime. I'll keep this as short as I can. It's called The Living Labs and it's called Conversational AI. It's a fairly new thing that just came out maybe like two or three months ago. It's low latency, so if I ask it a question it's going to respond back to me like immediately. It's mostly built for businesses where if you're out of hours, it's like Friday at 7pm, somebody still call your business and maybe book in a call or learn more information about whatever you're selling or whatever it is. Or you can do what I did, make it a geoguesser expert but also very Glaswegian and very cheeky and like just wants to kill me basically every time I make the wrong decision. And I'll show you exactly how I've done it. You can do it for free, you've got 10,000 credits which is probably about, you know, 20-30 minutes worth of talking to whatever AI, you can just test it basically. A lot of the time you just need to test it. Uh, find the sweet spot of what's quite funny or or however you want to use it. You can use it as like a race engineer on a racing game or you can also do the five dollars a month starter pack for 30,000 credits. Then the package I've got is the creator package for 22 dollars a month for 100,000 credits and I think if you log on to here for the first time this creator package is only going to be ten dollars a month as a starter kind of pack or it's like all the packages are half price basically and I would recommend Creator. You get more than enough time and if you ever happen to run out of 100,000 credits somehow, you can also just create a new account and buy the other $10 package and then you're just stacking up, uh, you know, however you want to use this. But what you're here for is how to set it up and I'm going to show you how you do that. This is the list of Agents, this will be empty for you if you're just in here for the first time, but basically I've got two horror games, FIFA, Gran Turismo, uh, and I think this one might be GeoGuessr and then I don't know what the top one is. But what you want to do, you can go to New Agent or you can go to Playground. Playground is more of like a creative one. Uh, you've got Support Agent, Mindfulness Coach, Sales Agent or Video Game Character. Um, you can either click video game character and it's kind of got these little presets in there already but what I'm going to do is start from blank um, and I'll show you exactly how I set mine up. Six, seven options, agent, voice, analysis, security, a lot of these don't matter. The, the two that do really matter is agent and voice. So agent language English or whatever language you want. Additional languages don't really need that to be honest. The first message is basically what the agent will say when you're starting up the call. You don't need to keep this too long because it just kind of wastes time. But you can just say hi, hello, or leave it blank. Um, I'll just put mine as where are we, because that's what I've got in my GeoGuessr one. The system prompt now. You can type out a whole segment of basically what your conversational AI is about, either if it's like a sales person or a business, you know, whatever it's actually meant to be used for. What I want to use it for in this example is GeoGuessr. What you want to do is go over to ChatGBT or Grok. I'm going to ask it, create me a conversational AI prompt that's an expert on GeoGuessr. It's Glaswegian and it's got very creative insults, but also it gets very angry if I make the wrong decision and it hits out with some very creative responses. I'm going to test this AI agent as well just to see if it works the same as mine does. So it's got a Living Labs prompt, GeoGuessr Demon, Global Psychotic Meltdown, Glasgow Mode. You're a furious, quick-witted Glaswegian GeoGuessr expert fused to the player's headset like Rage Power Satnav. And then what I would maybe do, just for it to be a little bit more creative, is extend this please with even more insults. And then basically there will be a few insults in here, but it's just going to uh, take those as a personality trait, basically. Full Glesga patter, Gen Z venom, pure street level aggression, buckfast fueled satnav, having a breakdown in the back of a taxi. So what you want to do, what you want to do is copy and paste that into the system prompt. LLM is the the model, like the AI model you want to use. And you've got a lot of a lot of different ones to choose from, including ChatGPT 4.1, ChatGPT 4.1 Mini, Claude, Gemini. And what I can say for sure is Gemini 2.0 Flash not only is the cheapest, but it's also one of the best in my case. 
When I had done ChatGPT as the LLM, I didn't think the conversations were that funny or that quick. I think Gemini 2.0 is the best to use, so I would recommend that. Temperature is the creativity or randomness in the responses. And for me, I want this to be maxed out, more creative. If it's at the very bottom, I think it's going to be a little bit mon monotone, a little bit basic and uh, not that exciting. More creative, that's where it really hits you with some random stuff. You had me picturing tiramisu and gondolas and you were stuffing yourself with buric in Bosnia. God give me strength. Limit token use usage, I think just leave that at minus one. Then there's some other stuff here I don't think is that important. This is more about uh, maybe for businesses transfer to agent, you know, transfer to a real person basically, that kind of stuff. So we're going to save this first page. Then the next one is very important as well is the voice. The voice I use is called, where is it? Ali Soft Spoken Glaswegian. There's a few different Scottish ones I've tried. I think this one's the best one. Rest and your energy will be restored. It's this kind of young Glaswegian guy, kind of soft spoken. But then as soon as it, I use the AI agent, it just turns into like a really aggressive kind of wee guy. All this stuff, you can just leave the same as it is. Optimize streaming latency. I use this at maximum. That means it's going to be the quickest response time. If I ask it a question, it's going to hit me back straight away. But the downflaw to this, it can mispronounce some sentences, but also I think that's quite funny when it does that. So I would just max it out. Stability. Higher values will make the speech more consistent, but also sound more monotone. Lower values will make speech sound more expressive, but may lead to instabilities. And I like to have that way at the bottom. I actually don't mind when the AI just starts freaking out for no reason. It makes for some pretty funny content. Speed is uh, straightforward, basically. Everything below one is very slow. Everything up high is very fast. Extreme values may affect the quality of the generated speech. I usually have it about 1.15 maybe, it's like just near the top. And the last one here is similarity. Higher values will boost the overall clarity and consistency of the voice. Very high values may lead to artifacts. So I think um, this doesn't need to be zero or full, but I think probably very high, you know, 0 0.85 maybe. Feel free to comment the uh, copy these settings. I'll maybe try and do it in the description if that's possible as well. But this is what I use and this is what I think works. And if you've come from my videos, then I think you'll find this very funny. Now, the other stuff I don't think matters too much. We don't need to, we don't care about data, evaluation, criteria, whatever that means. Now, advanced, the only thing I would change in here is max conversation duration. And it's currently set to 300 seconds. So if I'm, in, if I'm in the middle of a race on Gran Turismo and it just ends the call for no reason, that can be quite annoying. So what I'm going to do is put this up at 999. Then if you want to use it, I go to test AI agent. And this is the AI agent we just created. And this one is very, very similar to the one I have been using. I think let's take it for a test spin. Let's just do a little test call first of all. We'll see how it sounds. We'll see if it works. Where are we? So listen, you're part of my YouTube tutorial. I'm currently showing the people at home how they can set up their own Eleven Labs conversational AI. Right, so you want me, a bloody GeoGuessr demon, to help explain how to set up some AI pattern for the masses? So we're going to play GeoGuessr. That's what I designed for you to do. Famous places, eh? So you're wanting to show off my god tier Geo skills on places everyone knows? Alright, but if I, if you mess this up, I'm blaming you, you numpty. And what exactly do you need me to do? Just shout when you want me to pinpoint the location, or are we doing a running commentary of your inevitable failures? If we put this as Tunisia, it was actually Tunisia, yeah. This is Copenhagen. Oh no, it was Denmark, but basically, I'm a bit of a geo-guessing wizard, and I want you to help me along with that as well. So you're saying you're a geo-guessing wizard, but you just flub Denmark and Jordan right all? And now you want me to help you become even better still? I can do that, but first, which part of the world are we looking at now? Oh my god, I'm doing terrible, mate. I used to be good at this, honestly. I don't know what's happened to me. Used to be good? Aye, and I used to have hair. Excuses are like belly buttons, everyone's got one, and they're all full of fluff. Tell me, what location are we looking at right now, and maybe I can point you in the right direction. Don't just sit there like a lemon. That was okay. Now, you can obviously make tweaks in ChatGBT if you come back here. I want more aggression, I want more rage and more panic and you can even swear. I'm going to give this one a little test run again, remove this prompt and copy and paste it with a brand new one, save, test AI agent, we're going to play another game of GeoGuessr just to see how it works. A statue with bodies stacked on each other. 
You're gonna have to give me something better than that, you dafty. What kind of bodies? Anything even remotely helpful, or are you just gonna sit there gaping like a goldfish? I think just guess anywhere, just for the sake of this. Anywhere? You want me to just blindly guess anywhere on the entire planet? That's it, I'm done. I'm actually done. I cannot continue carrying this weight, so you know what? You are a terrible player. I hope you like the guess of Greenland because of all of the places in the world that is the guess I hate the most, you are. Dies. No, not, not Greenland. Don't go Greenland, please. Too late, you're numpty. I've already bloody clicked it. Now, we were going to Greenland whether you bloody like it or not. Honestly, you get me so riled up, I might just end up killing you. Oh, wait, no, never mind, I can't. Right then, let's see how spectacularly wrong we are this time and just where we should have picked instead. We were 3,000 kilometres away. We were actually in Oslo, Norway. You absolute weapon. Do you have any idea how much that hurts my soul? I swear I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of your days, you talentless cabbage. <laughs> you couldn't find Norway if it slapped you in the face with a haddock. And that's it. So, it was a little bit of a waffly tutorial, but I hope it helps. If you follow along everything I've done, you're gonna get the exact same agent I've been talking to in these videos. If you like my TikToks, if you like my Instagram reels, and if you like these YouTube videos, please subscribe for more. As time goes on, this is probably the worst AI is ever going to be. In a year or two from now, God knows, it's probably going to come out the screen and slap me in the face. So, yeah. Thank you so much.